In this video, I'm going to explain some of the differences between uh, appearances and materials when you uh, want to make your designs look like something in Fusion 360. So um, I've talked about appearances before. When we have a solid object and we click on this modify panel here, we find the appearance tool. And uh, you, know, you can just hit A on your keyboard to get this to pop up. When I open up my appearance tool, um, I'm given some options here. I have the option to apply an appearance to the entire body or component, so just all the surfaces at once, or um, I can individually select faces. So this lets me put different appearances on different surfaces if I want to. Um, I'm going to keep this on bodies and components for right now. In this design, I just have the one appearance, which is the, the one that comes in by default, uh, steel. And my material, my default material for this is actually steel. This little cylinder is actually made from steel in Fusion. But then beneath that, I have a great big library filled with different appearances that I could choose. And if I drill down into here, you know, looking under paint, I have options for paint. And within those, I have lots of different colors. And these can be tweaked and adjusted and modified. You can change the, the colors, textures, um, other things about your appearances sort of as you, as you want to. And uh, I'll come back in here uh, in a little bit and, and take another look at that. But the important thing to remember here is an appearance only changes how your object looks. It doesn't change anything about um, the physical characteristics or properties of that object. And that is sometimes an important thing to consider. So if you wanted, for, for instance, to perform a, a stress test on your object, uh, Fusion has got a whole environment for doing that. We can create all kinds of simulations. We can apply forces that act on your on your design in different ways, and you can sort of simulate before having to prototype anything how your design would perform under various different conditions. Um, those simulations are going to perform those tests based on the actual material properties of the material that you're that you've chosen. So if you made your design out of steel, it's going to stress test this thing like it's actually made out of steel. Um, if you change that to aluminum, then it's going to perform those tests on this as though it's made out of aluminum. So you would have, um, you know, you'd have uh, different points of failure and things like that. So the actual material does make a difference. So changing the material actually changes some things about your object. And if I pull up my properties window right now and I take a look at this, uh, I can see here that the volume of my cylinder is um, about 50 cubic inches, 50.265. My mass is 228 ounces, and I'm going to try to remember those numbers because um, I want to compare them in just a moment. So going back into my Modify panel, I can find right above Appearances, there's another tool here that says Physical Material. And if I click that, I get a uh, tool on the right side here that looks real similar to the Appearance menu, but it's a little bit different. For one thing, I don't have the option to apply materials to either surfaces or the whole body. If I apply a material to this body, the entire solid body is made from that material. I can't do it surface by surface. So um, in this design, again, I have the default, which is steel. But if I want to change that, if I wanted to, say, go in here and make this um, uh, porcelain instead, I could grab porcelain and I can drag it over here onto my object. And now in this design, I have steel and I have porcelain. Uh, if I wanted to, I could double click on that and I could go into advanced. I could make some changes to this. Um, I can I can uh, tinker around with lots of things, particularly the appearance. So if I wanted this thing to be made from porcelain with all the physical properties of porcelain, but I didn't want this white color, I wanted maybe a, a different color, I could change that. I could change other things about the appearance as well, all within the uh, physical material of porcelain. So once I've set this, now, if I look back at my properties, I'm going to notice that um, certain things are the same, certain things are different. So changing the, the uh, material that something's made out of is not going to change its surface area. It's not going to change its volume. My volume is right where I left it, 50.265. But it is going to change things like uh, the density. Density is a material property. So if I change the material, I've changed the density. And because the density has changed, so too has my mass. So my mass was uh, much higher than this. Now it's 98.788 ounces. So that wasn't because I changed the size or shape of my cylinder. It's just because I changed it from steel to porcelain. 
And you can also see that in this properties window, the physical material is now reading as porcelain. Now, if I wanted to, I could then go back into appearances and I could select a different appearance for this model. So if I, let's say I wanted to make this blue, I could drag blue onto this. And now if I go back to my properties window, notice uh, my physical material still says porcelain, but I've just applied this blue appearance to it. So I can get this part to behave like one material, but look like another, which is kind of interesting. Um, but there is a difference between applying a appearance to something and applying a material to something. And you should uh, think about which one you want to use.